join us in the city of friends. Come join us where the fun never ends. Everyone here is friendly. The people are always happy. We're on the road and in the air. Smiling faces everywhere. Here comes old stripes friends. Okay, Elfie. Last time. Ready? Ready! Go! <laughs> Bullseye! Good shooting, Elfie. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Hey, I'm hungry. I could really do with an apple right now. <laughs> you like apples a lot, don't you? <laughs> like them. I love them. Here you are, then. An apple for Elfie, a bun for Ted, and a banana for Max. Thanks, Mum. See you later. Go carefully. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Elfie. Hi, everyone. We've brought you an apple. Oh, wow. How did you guess? That's just what I want. Oh, sorry. I have to go. We'll bring it back later. I can't see Ted anywhere. I hope he's here. Well, Abby is, so I expect Ted is too. Hi, Abby. Is Ted around? Sure. He's round the back with Tina. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> How's that? Really good. Well done, Ted. You've earned a break. Hi, Ted. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. We've brought you a bun. Hey, great, thanks. Just in time for my break. He can share it with me. Aww. <laughs> Only joking. We took Elfie an apple, but she was called out just as we got there. She can have it later. She loves apples. Mm. Almost as much as I love buns. Just there, Elfie, where the flames are. Great work, Elfie. Right on target. <laughs> All that practice paid off, didn't it? I think I deserve an apple now. You certainly do. Mm. 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 Oh, thanks for this, guys. You'll whiz about even faster now, won't you, Max? <laughs> sure will. We should be getting back to the fire station. Yes, Elfie might be back by now. We've got an apple for her. <laughs> Elfie will do anything for an apple. I'm looking forward to my apple more than I can say. The way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. Oh, what's that? Oh, my goodness, an orchard full of apples. I've never seen so many. Oh, yum, yum. Here they are. Here's your apple, Elfie. Oh, thanks, Mia. You'll never guess what I've seen. Mm. Did you see it, Tom? See what? That orchard. Trees all full of ripe, juicy apples. Oh, I so want to go back and pick some. Well, I think that can be arranged. Really? Yes, you've worked really hard today. Frankie and I will take you back there. You can remember where it was, can't you? Oh, yes, definitely. We'll go to the park for a bit. Then you'll come back and see my lovely apples. Yes, of course we will. Come on, then. Off we go. No, no, it wasn't here. Oh, dear, where was it? Are we in the right place? I don't know, Tom. I thought we were, but now I'm not sure. Try going up in the bucket. You'll be able to see further. OK. Any luck? 
No, I can't see the apple orchard anywhere. I'm sorry, Elfie, but I think we'll have to give it up now. I know. Thanks for trying, though, Tom. And Frankie. Look, here's Elfie. Did you find the orchard? No. I thought I knew where it was, but I was wrong. Oh, Elfie. Elfie couldn't find the orchard. Oh, what are you going to do? Dunno. Nothing much I can do. I think I'd better have a bath. Thanks for minding. Poor Elfie. Oh, I've never seen her look so sad. There must be some way we can help her. I know, there is! What? We'll find the orchard for her. We'll organise a search party. Ooh, I'm looking forward to my apple. More than I can say. The way to have a happy life is to eat an apple a day. But I can't find the orchard, so my apples have gone away. Hi, Elfie. Everyone's waiting. Waiting? What for? Come and see. Oh my goodness, what's happening? We're going to find that apple orchard for you, Elfie. Working together, you see. We're all so good at working together. I bet we can find your orchard just like that. Thank you. Let's hope so anyway. Now, here's the plan. We'll each search a different part of the countryside near where that haystack caught fire. Jumpy's found it. I'm going to find the owner now and ask if we can have some apples. He says yes. It's okay to take as many as we like. Hi, Elfie. Where are you off to? I'm going back to the orchard. What? You can't have eaten all your apples already. I have. I'm off to get some more. Oh, no! Max, stop! Could you get a message to Frankie for me? Ask him to pick me up here. No problem. Will do. What is it, Martin? What are you looking at? It's Elfie. She's going to be late for the call-out. Oh, she'll be really upset if she misses a call-out, won't she? Yes. Being a firefighter is so important to her. If only she didn't care about the apples so much. I've got a suggestion. We've got to find a way of getting so many apples for Elfie that she doesn't need to go back to the orchard for ages and ages. You mean a grand apple picking? A grand apple picking with a picnic. And I'll make the picnic. Oh, wow. Thanks, Mum. Thanks. Yum, yum. I'm looking forward to my apple. More than I can say. All the way to have a happy life is to eat an apple. I think those will last you quite a time, Elfie. Yes. Oh, thank you, everyone. This is my best day ever. Now I can stop worrying about apples and get on with being a firefighter. Uh, 
Elfie! Elfie! Sorry, can't stop. I'm late for work. Well, perhaps you'd like to take some of our buns with you. Oh! Oh, oh who left that door open? We made a few too many buns yesterday, so if you'd like them... Well, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh, customers already? Oh. oh, who closed the door? Oh, sorry, love, I did. Oh, dear. Does it hurt? Let's just hope his nose isn't broken. Hello, sounds like Abby. Hi, Abby, where are you? What's the... I mean, whoa! Getting a little dizzy here. Woo! Whew! Better get on with my rounds. Hello. Looks like trouble. Uh, Tiffany, Max? Something the matter, G? Super Detective Max at the ready. What's the word, G? Looks like a burst water main over near the city hall. Well, that's for the fire service to deal with. Yes, but Frankie's already out on a job. Perhaps you'd better get down there to see what you can do. I suppose. Though it's not going to do anything for my promotion. OK, team. Let's get this show on the road. All systems, go, go! <laughs> Stop. Oh, look at that! It's like a fountain! Come on, let's play in it! No, Jumpy. No? Why not? Well, for a start, you're probably not supposed to. And you'll get wet. And you'll have to go home in sopping wet clothes. And you'll get cold. And your mum won't be pleased. Yes. But apart from that, why not? Because I say so. Now stand back, please, and let us deal with it. Come on, stand back. Nothing to see here. Oh, I can't see anything from here. Never mind, Jumpy. I'll tell you all about it when we've sorted it out. But I... I know. Huh. Where's he gone? Search me. Still, I think we'll be on our way too. Perhaps we should go and see if Dad's come back from hospital. Hospital? He bumped his nose. Oh, should be able to get a better look up this tree. <coughs> Race you home, Martin. Last one, there's a... Well, whatever the last one is, you're going to be it. Martin? Looks like someone must have dropped these. Most of them are for Bobby. Well, perhaps we better take them to him. Yeah, we can check on Dad later. And I reckon it's the work of a pickpocket. Well, a pick poucher, really. No, I don't... They were right here when I left, and there were a lot of letters for you, Bobby. Oh, were they? <laughs> don't know what they were for, of course. Well, it, it could have been... It's not your birthday, is it? No. Probably all to do with police matters. Well, if it is... Uh... And speaking of police matters... Well, if you just... I want something done about yeah, it. Uh, Kimmy? We can't have people walking... Kimmy! Hi, Bobby. Hi, Kimmy. Oh, hello, you two. Martin, Mia, you won't believe what's happened. Someone has stolen some letters right out of my pouch. Can you believe it? If it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't have believed it. I mean, it's a disgrace. Well, it's more than a disgrace. It's a... a, 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 a the letters! Where did you find them? On the pavement. Back there. Maybe they fell out of your pouch? Well, uh, I can't think how. I mean, I, mean, I, I wouldn't. Emergency! Emergency! What's up, G? It looks like someone stuck up a tree in Friend Park. This sounds like a job for the fire service. Oh, morning, Elfie. 
Hi, Raph. Fancy a bun? No time for buns, I'm afraid, Elfie. You're needed over at Friend Park. Someone's got stuck up a tree. Oh, I bet I know who that is. Bye-bye, buns. See you later. <laughs> there. That seems to have done the trick. How did you know where the stop tap was, Max? I just used my head, Tiffany. It's my police training. Equips me for any emergency. Help! I want to get down! Jumpy! I'm stuck! Help me! Does your police training equip you for this emergency, Max? Oh, uh, yes and no. And mainly no. <laughs> no peace for the wicked, eh? Frankie and the team will sort it out. Hang on there, Jumpy. Frankie's on his way. That's it, Jumpy. Steady as you go. Easy, Elfie. Take it easy. Oh, thank you, Elfie. Thank you. Oh, uh, Jumpy, you're nipping me. Oh, sorry. And I was really, really brave. So, how did you get stuck up in the tree in the first place, Jumpy? Well, I, I wasn't stuck. I, I was just resting. Dad, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. Just a bit of bruising. Well, I don't know. What with your nose and Jumpy up a tree and that burst water main. And Kimmy's lost letters. <laughs> The emergency services have been working really hard for us all today. Just like they always do. I think we ought to have a little party for them to say thank you for everything they do for us. Oh, yeah! Brilliant idea, Mum! It'll be the best party ever! A party? At the cafe. This afternoon? And so we'd all like to say a big thank you to Bobby and his team, to Barney and the fire service, and to Tina, Ted and... Hang on! Where's G? And Raph? Uh, I think I saw them heading toward Friend Park. It would have been nice to go to the party, wouldn't it, Raph? It would. Still, we can't help having such long necks. Hmm. We'd never have fitted in the cafe. No. So we'll just have to have our own little party here. On our own. Just the two of us. Yes. There they are! Hello? Gee! Raph! Why didn't you come to the party? Well, like G said, we wouldn't fit into the cafe. Rather long in the neck department. Well, it wouldn't be a proper thank you party without you two. So we'll have it right here in the park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't we have a pet? <laughs> you already have lots of pets. Timber the police dog, Jumpy the hare and Kimmy the kangaroo. They're all friends, not all pets. Please, can we have a pet of our own? A dog, a cat, a rabbit. We've got enough to do running the City of Friends Cafe. We haven't got time to look after an animal. You wouldn't have to do anything, Mum. We'd look after it. Can we talk about this another time? We've got to open the cafe in five minutes. Why don't you pop over to the police station and play with Timber? I suppose so. Timber's the nearest to a pet that we'll ever get. Timber! Nobody's here. Hmm. Maybe Tiffany's round the back with Timber. Let's take a look. Bobby! Tiffany! They've gone out on a job with Petey. I'm off too. 
I'm going to help Barney tidy up the fire station garden. Catch you later! <sighs> what shall we do now? What's that? It's coming from over there. <gasps> Mice! A whole family of them. Oh, they're so cute. Do you think Max knows he's got a family of mice under his treehouse? <laughs> it's not like Max to keep a secret. Do you think they're safe here? Max is very noisy and he's always tooting Scoot Hooter. The mice might be a little bit scared. Maybe we should move them to a quieter place. Yeah. Hey, Barney, what do you want me to do? Well, you could help me clear the leaves off the path, Max. No problem, Barney. <laughs> hey, Max, I've only just swept those leaves up. Oops. Oh, sorry, Barney. <laughs> Ow! Ooh. Oh! Oh! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, Max. We've got all day to tidy up. Martin, where are we going? We're trying to find a nice, safe, quiet place for the mice. Maybe we should never have moved them in the first place. What are you going to do with all this rubbish, Barney? It certainly won't fit in the dustbin. I'll probably have to take it to the recycling centre. It's a long way to push a wheelbarrow, Barney. <laughs> the fire station's a great place for the mice to live, Mia. They can't live here. They'll be frightened of Frankie's loud fire engine siren. They won't hear Frankie at the back. It's nice and quiet here. See? They like it already. Nobody will see the nest if we cover it over with leaves. The leaves will keep the mice nice and warm. They're going to need some food, Martin. We should go home and get them something to eat. Don't tell Mum and Dad about the mice meal. It's our secret. You've done a good job tidying up the yard, Barney. I had Max helping me. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done without him. Look at all the rubbish we collected. <laughs> Barney's going to take it to the recycling centre in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> you could load the rubbish into Elfie's bucket and drive over to the recycling centre in Frankie. Is that OK with you, Elfie? I'm going for a cooling dip in my pool. I won't be needing the bucket for a while. You're the best set of helpers in the City of Friends. Yeah, That's the lot. Hold on, Barney. There's a bit more rubbish over here. <laughs> Take her away, Frankie. I bet the mice are starving by now. We've got enough food in our rucksacks to last them a week. <laughs> Everybody's gone to the recycling centre with Frankie. Don't you think we did a great job of tidying up the fire station garden? Max, what exactly did you tidy up? Oh, you know, leaves, rubbish and stuff. The nest! It's gone! Uh, what are you looking for? We left the nest of mice right there! It was covered with leaves. If it was hidden under a pile of leaves, it'll be halfway to the recycling centre by now. <gasps> We've got to stop Frankie. But we'll never catch up with the fire truck, Mia. Petey! Stop, Petey! Stop! Petey! Stop! Has something happened? 
We've done something really silly, Tiffany. We need a lift urgently to sort it out. Okay, just this once. Jump in. I'll race you. Good luck. You had better have a good explanation for this. Oh, there's something very precious in Alfie's bucket. It's a family of mice. We need to take them home. Oh. <clears throat> Let's hope the nest's still in one piece. Oh, thank goodness they're safe. How on earth did they get here? We found them under Max's treehouse this morning. We moved them to the fire station. Why did you move them from the police station to the fire station? We thought the police station was too noisy. Oh, right. And the fire station's a lot quieter. We were worried that Max might frighten the mice by tooting Scoot's hooter. Don't blame me. I didn't even know they were there. You should never move wild animals away from their home territory. We know that now, Barney. It was a stupid thing to do. We should have left them where they belong. Why don't we take them home right away? Scoot can give them a lift back, Barney. Uh, no thanks, Max. <laughs> the mice have had quite enough excitement for one day. We'll give them a lift back home in Frankie. Sounds like they're happy to be home. Is it okay to feed the mice, Barney? Of course, Martin. But don't touch them. Just leave the food and go. I promise we won't disturb them ever again. <laughs> I'll try to be quiet and not toot scoot hoot around here. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Just because you've got four wheels and a louder siren, doesn't mean you can go faster than me and Scoot. <laughs> well, I have done so far, Max. Scoot's got new wheels now and his acceleration is stupendous. I reckon we can outpace you, Petey. Impossible, Max. My engine's ten times more powerful than... <laughs> What's that awful racket? could have that race right now, Petey, just to get away from these two. Oh, how long have they been playing? Oh, too long. Tell them to stop, Tiffany. They're giving me a headache. What do you think of the City of Friends band, Tiffany? Uh, well, yes. I was just wondering if you could play somewhere else, Bobby. Oh, were we that bad? No, no. It's just that uh, we need to test out the alarm bell. It was a bit dodgy this morning. I could hardly hear it when you went on the last emergency call out. If we test the alarm, it might, um... Put you out of tune? Tiffany's right. We'd be better off practising somewhere quieter. OK, Bobby. Let's try the fire station. Timber, you can come out now. The City of Friends band has moved on. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Don't forget what I said, Petey. Scoot and I can beat you any day. 
Yeah, yeah, dream on, Max. Right, Bobby, let's take it from the top. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry, it was an accident. Your uh, music made me jump. It gave me a fright too. We're in danger of getting drenched here, Bobby. <laughs> Let's find somewhere else, Barney. The emergency services are not the only speedy vehicles round here. Let's give it full throttle, Scoot! Nobody will disturb us here, Bobby. faster than us. Let's run the other way and see if Jumpy can find us. <laughs> <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> so, Mia and Martin are playing tricks on me. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. I thought you were Martin and Mia playing tricks on me. Are they here in the forest? We came here to play hide and seek. Well, where are they? I don't know. I've lost them. Not a good idea to get lost in the forest. They can't be that far away. I hope not. We've been here for ages, Martin. Do you think Jumpy's forgotten all about us? Maybe we'd better go and find him. It's not that way, Martin. Which way is it, Mia? I've no idea. I'm really worried, Tiffany. Mia and Martin promised they'd be back in time for supper, but they've not showed up yet. Don't worry. I'll put a call through to the other emergency services and ask them to look out for the children. OK, Tiffany, we'll keep our eyes peeled. It's not like the twins to be late home. I'm worried about the children, Petey. I wish Bobby was here. He'd know what to do. Let's take a little ride, Tiffany. With a bit of luck, we'll spot Mia and Martin. Then we can give them a lift back home. Good thinking, Petey. <whistles> Come on, Timber! Martin! Mia! 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 Oh, they mustn't be able to hear us. They'll certainly hear this. <gasps> <laughs> it's Jumpy playing more tricks on us. Well, at least we know he's nearby. <laughs> Scoot! Overtake Petey! That's got to be Bobby and Barney. Find Martin and Mia, Timber. Find. <laughs> hey, Timber, wait for me. <sighs> you beat me, Petey. Only just, Max. Only just. Be quick, Martin. We're getting closer. Give me a hoot if you see the children, Scoot. <laughs> no, Timber! Not that way! Okay, 
Timber, lead on. Timber! Timber! <laughs> Oh, yeah! Found you! Max! <laughs> I was trying to find Bobby so that he could help me find you, but Timber and Max beat me to it. <laughs> Where have you two been hiding? Oh, sorry, Jumpy. We got lost. I found them! <laughs> we were lucky, Martin. We had three search parties looking for us. Yeah! I can beat everyone! But you can't beat me, Jumpy! Tiffany told me that you and Scoop went like greased lightning through the forest pathways, Max. You should have seen us ducking and diving down those paths, Petey. We were awesome! Well done, Bobby and Barney. The City of Friends has got a band we can all be proud of. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Mia, I can hear a scratchy noise. <laughs> it sounds like dancing mice. <laughs> we can hear secret things that nobody else can hear, Martin. We're the City of Friends spies. Come on, Mia. Let's play spies outside. Don't move, Abby. I need to clean the mud off your wheels. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that tickles Ted. You'll soon be shining bright like a brand new ambulance. Then we'll get an emergency call out and you'll drive me through a puddle and I'll be dirty all over again. Great so, Abby. Anybody home? <laughs> oh, what's in here? A trumpet? <laughs> Skipping ropes! Whee! Earplugs! Tweeting is really loud when you hear it through the trumpet. My turn now, Martin. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. That has to be jumpy. <laughs> jumpy, what's the matter? Stop! <sighs> I can't stop. Somebody's chasing me. There's nobody chasing you, Jumpy. Oh, he's scared of something. We'd better keep an eye on him. Jumpy! Wait! Hold on, Jumpy! Ah! What's that? It's a giant with big feet! Ah! I can hear him breathing! There's no way we'll ever catch up with Jumpy. He's going like the wind. Petey! Stop! We've got a problem, Tiffany. Lucky for you I'm not on an emergency call. Otherwise I couldn't have stopped. Hop in and belt up. Tina, I feel great. City of Friends Ambulance Service. Okay, we're on it. 
didn't I tell you? We'd get an emergency call just as soon as I was clean. Sorry, Abby. Elfie's had an accident in the park. Oh, poor Elfie. I don't seem to have my stethoscope. Don't worry, Ted. You can use mine. We're trying to catch up with Jumpy. He's been jumping around all over town like a crazy thing. <laughs> so what's unusual about that? He looks scared. He says somebody's chasing after him. He's probably playing a game, Mia. I can't imagine Jumpy being scared of anything. Did you know you've got a hole in your stethoscope? Oh, I'd no idea. Maybe I damaged it on the last job. I'm not happy about examining Elfie without the right medical instruments. Do you want me to go back to the hospital to get another stethoscope? No, we'd better not waste precious time. I just don't understand where I could have left it. Petey, give us a call if you spot Jumpy. Will do, Tiffany. Timber. We're looking for Jumpy, not chasing after rabbits. Oh, oh, ow! My trunk really hurts, Tom. Don't worry, Elfie. Abby's on her way with Ted and Tina. It was silly of me to go in the pond and squirt so much water around. Oh, Tiffany! How did you know we were here? We didn't. We were searching for Jumpy. Didn't I tell you the ambulance would be here soon, Elfie? Hey there, how's it going? She seems to have hurt her trunk. Don't you worry, we'll soon fix that, Elfie. We'll have you on your feet and fighting fires in no time. Oh, I hope so, Tina. Ooh, try not to move. <laughs> I don't want to stick the plaster in the wrong place whilst Tina's watching. You're doing just fine. Put your ear to our listening trumpet. You'll be surprised at what you hear. It makes everything sound really loud. Oh, I can hear birds singing. They sound like they're sitting next to me. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and now Timber's barking his head off. There you go, Elfie. Expect you feel better already. Oh, thank you, Ted. I can hear a really funny boing boing noise in your listening trumpet, Martin. <laughs> Jumpy! Jumpy! Oh, 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 oh. Have you seen the giant? I've been so scared. He's been chasing me all day. Believe me, Jumpy, there aren't any giants in the City of Friends. Hey, Jumpy, where did you find my stethoscope? What, what, Ted? I said, where did you find my stethoscope? Oh, uh, it, it was in your bag, in Abbey. You took it without asking my permission? I'm sorry, Ted. It's really important that I have my stethoscope when I'm working. You must never do that again, Jumpy. Thanks for helping us. Take care of that trunk, Elfie. I'll not blow so hard next time. Oh, that's funny. I can't hear the giant anymore. <laughs> there never was a giant, Jumpy. You were running around town with Ted's stethoscope stuck in your ears. Stethoscopes make noises sound louder. Like this. <laughs> ah! The giant's back! It's just the noises in the park. The ducks quacking. And the birds in the trees. Oh, so there never was a giant. 
<laughs> I am a silly Billy. Bye. I promise I won't touch your stethoscope again, Ted. Glad to hear it, Jumpy. I should be on my way too. Come on, Timber. Woof, woof. Thanks for all your help, Tiffany. No problem. Bye, Timber. Bye, Timber. Woof, 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 woof. Shall we play spies? Let's play Jumping Giants instead. Aren't you fed up with that game, Jumpy? <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> Here we go again! Oh, yes. I can remember when heavy horses used to pull the fire truck all around the city of friends. Horses? Were they fast enough in an emergency, Frankie? You've forgotten something, Martin. The City of Friends didn't have motor cars in the olden days. No motor cars? How did people get about? But they either walked or used horsepower, Mia. I tell you, when the fire bell went, a strong team of horses could nearly outrun me. Come in, Tiffany. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry, Bobby. I was so enthralled by Frankie's stories, I lost track of time. Just checking your location, Tiffany. In the town square. We'll make the move now. Bye, Bobby. We'd better get a move on too, Frankie. Oh, I was really enjoying Frankie's stories about the olden days. <laughs> Another time, Abby. Bye. We'd better go and see what Ted's up to, Abby. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, did either of you see Tom in town? Uh, no, Raph, I haven't seen him all morning. He left this morning saying he'd be back soon. <laughs> and that was a couple of hours ago. He sneaked out whilst Elfie was taking a nap in her shed. He's gone to buy her some apples. It's a surprise. Oh, your secret's safe with us, Raph. Right. Seeing as it's nice and quiet, I'm going inside to tidy my office. Oh. Help! I'm locked inside the station! Oh, I haven't got a key. Have you, Raph? Afraid not, Frankie. We haven't got a key, Barney. What shall we do? Get Raph to Radio Elfie. She might have a spare key in her shed. Come in, Elfie. Are you receiving me? Come in, Elfie. We have an emergency situation. What? What's going on? Oh, hearing you loud and clear, Raph. What's the problem? Barney's locked himself inside the fire station. Do you have a spare key? Oh, no. Hold on. I'll be with you right away. Stand back, Barney. I'm going to try forcing the door open. Oh, oh that didn't work. Oh, now what? Elfie, I've got an idea. Radio the police station. Bobby's sure to have a spare set of keys. <laughs> Don't worry, Elfie. I've got spare keys for every house in the City of Friends. Wonderful. I'll drive over with them right away, Elfie. Thanks, Tiffany. See you soon. Come on, Timber. Hop in. Woof, 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 woof. Here's the key to the fire station, Tiffany. <laughs> Don't lose it. Bobby, I've just received a report of an emergency situation in the City of Friends. The police crew are required immediately. Uh-oh. What about Barney? An emergency call-out has to be our priority, Tiffany. Right, Bobby. I'd better let Alfie know we're not coming. But if you don't come, Barney will be locked up in the fire station all day. I'm sorry, Alfie. There really is no alternative. Well, you could always send Timber with the key, Tiffany. Oh! That's not a bad idea, Frankie. I'll tie the key to her collar and send her over right away. Is it a good idea to trust a dog with a set of keys, Frankie? 
<laughs> if horses could pull fire trucks in the old days, there's no reason why Timber can't safely carry a set of keys. Just so long as he doesn't get distracted by a rabbit. I want you to take this key to Elfie at the fire station. Go, Timber! Go! <laughs> I can't wait to see Elfie's face when she sees these apples. Mm. Hey, Timber! What's the rush? <laughs> hmm. Somebody's dropped a key. <gasps> it's the fire station key. How did it get here? Oh! Timbo's here! Woof! 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 Good boy, Timber. No, where's that key? Oh. 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 Found it, Elfie. No, Frankie. But, but Tiffany said she'd fix it to Timber's collar. Well, it's not there now, Frankie. Ooh, you'd better get on the radio and make an urgent call to Tiffany. Hello, Elfie here. Are you receiving me? Receiving you loud and clear, Elfie. Has Timber arrived with the key yet? Timber's arrived, but without the key. Oh, Max, stop. What's the matter, Tom? Can you take this key to the fire station? It's an emergency, Max, so be as quick as you can. Don't worry, Tom. Me and Scoot are the fastest thing on two wheels in the City of Friends. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall and if one green bottle should accidentally fall there'd be 25 green bottles hanging on Tom sent these for you Elfie Oh apples mm, my favorite would anybody like one oh yes please Come on, Raph. You mustn't miss out on my treat. Oh, thank you, Elfie. <sighs> Did you get the key, Elfie? Key? What key? The key in the basket. I found it on the pavement in town. <laughs> hmm? Max? Sorry, Tom. I was so excited about the apples, I forgot all about the key. Here it is. You found the key that Timber dropped, Tom. Hey, everybody. Remember me? Oh, coming, Barney. Oh, thank you. I thought I was going to be stuck in the station all night. <laughs> I see you found the key, Barney. <laughs> I didn't have much to do with it, Bobby. It was these guys that did all the work. Timber started off with the key but dropped it. I found it and gave it to Max. Then Scoot and I whizzed over here. And I unlocked the fire station door. And, ta-da! And here I am. A brilliant example of team effort. City of Friends team effort. <laughs> you can't beat it. Yeah! Yeah!